What do we do when we lose it all? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Daryl, again. And if you have taken the time to subscribe to my channel and share it with someone, I really appreciate it. Like I said before, this is a journey that I'm going on, and I'm going to ask you to come along with me. And as the Holy Spirit encourages me to grow, I'm going to encourage you to grow as well. For several videos now, we have been talking about what happens once we give our life to Jesus Christ. All of us, as followers of Christ, are experiencing life after the sinner's prayer. And just because we're saved, that doesn't mean life gets easier. What happens is, we have access to a God who has resources beyond what we can ever do by ourselves. But we have those moments when our faith is tested. We have those moments when we lose it all. What do we do? Do we resort to things that we used to do when we needed resources? What do we do when we lose it all? Well, before we can answer those questions, I'm going to ask you to follow me to the Word of God, to Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. And the Word of God reads, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, I will never leave you, never will I forsake you. A wise man once told me, if you have never been through any trouble, just wait, it's going to happen. See, once we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, we have to trust and believe that God, our Heavenly Father, would never leave us. In moments of despair, when we lose financial wealth, when we get evicted from homes, when our car breaks down, when relationships are broken and severed, we have to understand God is still there. Every breath that we take, every time the sun shines on our face, it shows us that the same God that was there yesterday is the same God that is there today. And he will never forsake us. He will always do what he has promised us that he will do. To encourage us, I want us to turn to James chapter 1, verses 2 through 5. And the word of God reads, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. In desperate times, sometimes we seek desperate measures. But we should always understand that when we lose it all, we should find pure joy because God is testing our faith. And when our faith is tested, it produces perseverance. And that perseverance is not just for us. It's for those who we come in contact with. It's for our family members. It's to teach the young that God is a wonderful and great God. If we lack wisdom to be able to discern and get through difficult situations, just pray and ask God. He will provide you with more than you can ever handle. When we lose it all, we must understand that God is still God. The stress comes on us when we have such a love for money. When we lose it, we feel like we're empty and we have nothing. We have to understand God has it all. We have to allow our faith to be tested. We have to trust that God's work is still working in us. Whenever things are going wrong in your life and you have the mindset that nothing is going my way, I need you to ask another question. Is everything going right God's way? And if you can truly look at yourself and understand that things are working in God's favor, then you know everything will be okay. If this encourages you in any way, Give glory to our Heavenly Father as I grow, as I struggle, as I lose things in life. As life doesn't look the way I want it to look, the God that I serve remains the same and His love remains the same. I thank you for following me today and I hope you have a blessed day.